Hey everyone, how's it going? TechX Central here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can change your start org on Windows 7. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need to open up the link in the description. Once you have done that, you're going to scroll down all the way until you see a button called Download. Once you see that, click on it. Your download should start. Once your download is done, go ahead and open up that file. It's going to be zipped, so you're going to need to extract it. If you don't have an extracting program like WinRAR 7-Zip, don't worry. Windows 7 automatically can extract it for you. Make sure you extract it to a destination that you will know where it is. And extract. I'm going to extract mine to my desktop. Once you have extracted the file, it should give you something like this. Right click on it and go to run as administrator. It will then give you this. To change the settings of it, go to that little arrow down there, click on it, and then you can change the settings. Here are my recommended settings. Make sure you add a shortcut to the context menu so when you right click on your desktop, it will give you the start orb settings. Also, you can add the option in a context menu, so whenever there's a PNG or a BMP file, bitmap, then you will be able to easily make that your start org. If you guys are on Windows 7 Service Pack 1, or you have any Windows 7 updates installed, make sure you are on Replace by Editing Resources. If you don't have any updates installed, then you're fine by doing Replace by Patching Memory. But I'm going to keep it at Replace by Editing Resources because I have Windows 7 Service Pack 1 installed. In order to check if you have Windows 7 Service Pack installed, just go to your Start menu, right click on Computer, go to Manage, and then we'll see that I have Service Pack 1 right there because of the Windows Edition. So to actually change your Start Menu org, all you're going to have to do is download the file from the link in the, in the description and click, and click on the Click Here to Start Download link. It will then start the, the download. Once it is done, go ahead and open it up and extract it to a destination that you will know where it is. For this example, I will extract it to my desktop and press OK. So if you have the setting where you could just right click on an image and make it your start orb, you can just do this for the, any of the start orbs that are in this folder. So this one looks cool. I'll set this one as my start org. As simple as that, it has changed it to a different start org. It automatically does it, and it was a success. It was really simple, and it really looks cool. So if you want to restore it back to the original start org of Windows 7, go ahead and press restore. When you do that, you should get a confirmation message saying success. And of course, you will have your old start org back. Of course you can change your startup just by going to change and then choosing it from the custom start orbs folder. And they, I have supplied tons of start orbs. Uh, this was actually not created, all these weren't created by me, they were actually in the original version of the start orbs, the original version one of the start orb changer. And these are really cool and I really like them. You can also change the start org by, just by dragging in a photo of the, in, of the start org, just like that, and then it will change it like so. So I'm going to revert mine back to the original, and this concludes this video. So guys, thanks so much for watching. There will be more links in the description for tons of more custom start buttons 
But guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely be making more videos, so subscribe.